In the early days of hunting and pointing with your dog, I don't ask my dog to flush the game. I want it to learn to hold the point. On a shoot day, it can take a few minutes for guns to get to your dog to take a shot, so it's important the dog only flushes on command. Now this dog has proved she will hold her point, she's learning to flush on command. The moment you hear the bird's wing beat, blow your whistle. That's when the dog should sit. Oxo ran quite a long way here, but the job of the dog is to get the bird in the air and the bird will often run, so the dog has got to keep moving until the bird actually takes flight and beats its wings. This is exciting work for a young dog, so work quietly with them, giving plenty of praise and keeping them as calm as you can. As with all training, you want some repetition, so we hunted on to see if we could find another bird. You'll notice that I've given her two recall whistles. When you're hunting birds, if your dog doesn't respond to a whistle, you want to stop whistling and just see if you can see them because the chances are they'll be on point, which is exactly what happened here. So she's staunchly holding the point and I'm going to move up exactly as before, giving her the flush command again. I always move up behind them 45 degrees to the side, never directly behind them, so you're more likely to push them forward with your own movement if you walk in directly behind them. Also, by being slightly to the side, I'm in her peripheral vision for any hand signal that I want to give. She was very obedient here because it would have been easy for her to move forward feeling like there was a barrier between myself and her with the leaves. But she's sitting immediately under the bush where the bird got up, having heard the wing beat and sat straight away. So as always, give plenty of praise where the dog actually sits. Well these were two really good flushes. I was completely happy. I don't like to do too much work and let the dog get overexcited. So I decided to finish off with a retrieve in this area where she just made the second flush. I walked round to throw out a retrieve and suddenly spotted a roe deer looking at me that must have been disturbed when Oxo flushed the bird. Anyway, I went ahead and threw out the retrieve where the deer was and it scurried away. Oxo remained steady and now I had the chance to send her for a retrieve where there was fresh game scent, which would mean she'd have quite a distraction. The bird had lifted from that area and a deer had been in that area. So a great chance for training in a very real situation. So if you can't see your dog, just listen very intently and only give commands if you really feel it's necessary. Hello, sir. Hello. This is the search command whistle. Just when I was beginning to wonder, she appeared from the left. Very good. Very, very so train like this out in the field as much as you can and use anything that crops up around you as a training opportunity. It's all the most fantastic experience for your dogs. Have fun. Very good. Sit. Sit. Very good.